Hey, welcome back everybody. So we're going to continue working on this e-commerce app where we can sell like jeans and t-shirts and shirts and socks and stuff. So this is what we have so far. So we have a list of products. This is a recycler view. You can click on one. We Now we don't have the pictures for this page yet, but if you click on a product, you can see like dress shirt number five. It says, hey, this is dress shirt number five. And if you want to see if it's in stock, we can do that and see if it's in stock and we can dismiss it by either clicking away or clicking the OK button. So this is what we have so far. Um, it's kind of cool. We don't have search functionality yet. That doesn't do anything. Oh, it does, huh? Oh, I must have clicked on that. Anyway, but uh, so we don't have much. We don't have very much stuff. We don't have a lot of stuff uh, up and well, we have we have some stuff that's working. So let's go ahead. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go work through something else together. So if I can pull it up here, what I wanted to do is do a draw our layout. So what this is gonna do is this is basically going to uh, where you can like slide it out from the left. So this is gonna be for all of our categories. So instead of like import and gallery and slideshow and tools, we'll have like shirts, jeans, socks, dress shirts, suits or whatever. So this is what we're gonna try to do in this video. And I just wanna kinda work through this documentation page. Um, I pretty I don't have everything memorized in general, but just in general, I look stuff up all the time. Stack Overflow, um, I mean, I just, look I just look stuff up all the time. So we're gonna work through this together and hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have something that looks kinda like that. So we can pull it out and there are all our categories, you know, t-shirts, t-shirts, jeans, shorts, whatever. Okay, so we, so we got through all of this and we have already have our dependencies in, so that's good. So if we come down to here, we see we need to add a jar layout. So this is going to go and this is going to go in our root layout. So let's go ahead and open it up. So uh, app, and I'm in Android mode there. So app, resources, we'll go to layouts. And if you go to activity main, you see here's all of our stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going, if I go back to the documentation page, you'll see that this draw or layout, that is the root. So the root means it's it's right, basically means it's near the top. And see how these right here are indented a little bit? These two are, so these two right here are inside of the drawer layout. So it's important to have, you can include something there, or use constraint layout or something, but you also need the navigation view. So maybe this is a little bit confusing, but let me go ahead and see if I can explain it a little bit better in code. Okay, so I'm gonna close everything. I'm gonna open it up with that. Um, we'll, now we'll create a new layout file. We'll call this layout, we'll call this, um, we'll call this, what should we call this? Uh, Main. We'll just call this main. This is going to be a little bit confusing. I could probably think of a better name, but main is okay for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and create it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to main activity. I'm going to select everything, copy it, and put it. get rid of this stuff. Then I'm going to paste it inside of main. So we have that. Now I'm going to come back to here and so these, these two are duplicates. So we have main.xml and activity main. And this is a little bit confusing. I should have named it something else, but hopefully you'll be able to learn something from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we have, the first thing we need is our root inside of our main act activity main needs to be the draw our layout. So let's go ahead and do that, so draw our layout. So there it is. We also need like fit system window. I think it's true. I think we need that. I think it says to do that, right? Yeah, fit system window needs to be true. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now we need two things inside of here. So if you go back to the documentation, um, in there they're using a fragment, but in our case we won't, we won't, we'll maybe upgrade it to a fragment at a later time, but we have some content and then we have our navigation view. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down to here and here's our navigation view. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy all of that and I'll put it in here. So that's all good. Now we're getting some errors, so I'm gonna put my mouse over the app and do option, enter, and that imports it up here at the top. I think it did that right. Yeah, so when you do uh, alt, enter, it imports that for you. Uh, then for our menu, if we go into menu, we see we only have main menu, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. So I'll do main menu, and there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, so now if we were, if we were to run this, we might get some errors, but one of the things we don't have is our content. Um, our content, or this is gonna be a little bit confusing, but the main that I just created here, we need to include this in here. So if we go back to the documentation, you'll see, I think they used a fragment, yeah, they used a frame out here, so they're gonna do a fragment there. In our case, I'm just gonna include something. So we're going to uh, include, and then we'll do, we'll do, 
uh, match and width match. We'll do a self closing tag. And then what we can do here is we can do layouts equals, and then we already have it selected there, so layout slash main. So that's going to be our layout. So I'm going to go back to design view, and yeah, we should see this here. So without this, if we got rid of that, and we wanted to see what it looks like, yeah, there'd be not. So include basically says, hey, we're going to get the contents of this right here, and we're going to stick it inside of, we're going to put it right there. So just to reiterate, we have a drawer layout at the root. We have we have two things inside of it. First, we have our content. Then we have our navigation view. So these are the two things we need. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just run it. So I, I, I like to run things as often as possible because we'll get errors. Oh, I think I know what this is. So what's the error? The error is the toolbar. Yeah, we'll get to that in just a sec. Actually, let's go ahead and fix that right now. Why not? Toolbar. So it's saying toolbar. We'll just type it again. Toolbar. And there we go. So basically, what happened is we changed toolbar used to be in this class here, but we moved it to main. So that's what happened, and we just typed it out and ran it. Okay, so now it's going to run it again, and I'm going to go back to the emulator, and this should open up in just a second, and it does. So all our functionality is the same, and we'll even see, hey, if we, if we pull out from the left, look what happens. See that? Isn't that pretty cool? So what we can do is we can add a whole lot more of these. So let's go back into menu, main menu, and I'm just going to... Uh, well, actually, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an icon. So icon, and I don't have a lot of icons in here, but we'll use, uh, well, here, let's get rid of that. Let's find a good icon to use, okay? So let's go to vector, and then we'll click here, and let's just find a random, let's just find a random icon. Oh, money one, that's good. Money is good, right? Money is good. Uh, we'll make it, uh, if you go back to the emulator, let's see, we'll make it, let's make, uh, what color should we make it? We'll make it black. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll do zero, 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 black, there we go, it's our money. Everybody loves money, right? Okay, so let's, let's go back to here. So it created this for us right there. Let's do icon, mon, there we go, so there it is. So let's go ahead and run it again. And I'm just running with the keyboard shortcut, but if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut, that green eye arrow, that icon right there, will we'll, we'll, we'll run it for you. So here we go, we have settings there, and it's money. So it's the money icon and the settings. Let's go ahead and let's just duplicate this a bunch of times. So we'll have lots of stuff. Uh, now one of the things we have to do is the ID. We're just going to make something different for now. Does it matter? Actually, it kind of does matter because I hate doing this. I hate writing bad code, and this is bad code here. Uh, at work, I just, I just, I just, if I make something at work, I do it. I think about variable names a lot, class names. Uh, anyways, so this is kind of bad, but let's go ahead and run it just for get you at, just to get the idea of what actually this does. So let's run it again, and if we open it back up, see there are all our settings. So now, right now, you see we have settings, settings, settings. So we could change this text to anything. We could call it icon order title. We can we could do the title could be anything. It could be jeans. This one could be shorts. This one could be socks. I think you get the idea. And you can make the icons anything also. So if this icon, if you wanted to make that, what, do, what else do we have? We have search. So that one will be search. And if I run it and go back to the emulator, you'll see that, open that up. And sure enough, there's our socks. And so you kind of get the idea. You can just make all of these, uh, you can just add more items here and they'll show up here. But right now they don't actually do anything. So we'll fix that, and we'll probably do that in the next video. It's not going to be too hard, but uh, so yeah, this, this is what we have so far. So we have our items. We can see if it's in stock, and what we can do is we can also slide that over, and we can have some options here for what kind of what we're looking for, like is it jeans or shorts or socks or whatever. Those are going to be our main categories. So I think we'll stop. I'll stop the video here, and I'll see you in the next video.